Good morning all and welcome to our webinar. Uh, today's webinar topic is algorithmic modeling in structural engineering and bridge design using Rhino 3D Grasshopper. My name is Elina Punkinen and I'll be your host. I work as a software specialist at BuildPoint. The webinar is in collaboration with BIM Solutions Latvia and our speaker is Janis Markevich. Janis is a structural engineer with more than 12 years of experience in building design. He has been using parametric approach in many projects to design steel and concrete structures. BuildPoint is based in Finland and we offer software and professional services related to building and construction industry. We are part of Point Group company, which also includes Civil Point and Asset Point. Civil Point provides infrastructure sector software and professional services, and Asset Point provides asset management solutions. We offer our clients comprehensive consultation, off-the-shelf and custom software, quality training, as well as professional support services. We select and partner with the best suited software providers within the industry and region. Our software experts offer professional training for the software that we promote or tailor it to the client's needs. At the end of the webinar, I'll introduce you our offering for the Rhino Grasshopper online trainings. During the webinar, you can ask questions using the question and answer dialog box from the webinar control menu. We will answer questions at the end of the webinar. But further notice, I'll hand over to our speaker, Yanis, who will go through the content of today's webinar. So go ahead, Yanis. Thank you, Elena. I will now share my screen. So can you please confirm that you see my screen? Yes, we can see. So, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. So, yeah, today's webinar is about the algorithmic modeling in structural engineering and bridge design using Rhino 3D Grasshopper. So, shortly about the agenda today. So, first, I will give my take on what parametric design is, then, a short introduction to Rhino 3D Grasshopper and Grasshopper Techo Live Link, and then some uh, examples how the structural engineers could utilize the, this parametric approach and Rhino 3D Grasshopper, as for exam example, extracting information from 2D drawings, linking Grasshopper algorithm to calculation software, and creating documentation using Grasshopper. So what is parametric design and how we can use it and benefit from it? Uh, we have all at some point used a spreadsheet to solve a specific mathematical problem, starting with chosen values and under certain rules that we have imposed on the system, we are able to instantly obtain very complex results, which also can be immediately recalculated by simply changing the original parameters. Uh, the same approach can be used to create geometry. Here we have a concrete bridge deck and the pier, which is created using this parametric approach. As a input parameters, there is a road line level at the specific X and Y coordinates, the ground level, and the height of the diaphragm. And the algorithm then calculates the height of the pier. If any of the input parameter changes, then the height of the pier changes accordingly and automatically. Uh, the ground of parametric design is the generation of geometry from a family of initial parameters and the formal relations they keep with each other. Uh, it is about the use of variables and algorithms to generate the hierarchy of mathematical and geometric relations that allows you to generate not only the certain design, but to explore the whole range of possible solutions that the variability of initial parameters may allow. Uh, this approach is great for iterative processes and creating complex geometries. 
Uh, there are several de designated tools for parametric design on the market. Uh, one of those is Rhino 3D Grasshopper. Uh, Rhino 3D is an R-based 3D modeling software developed by McNeil Company. Rhino is being used in many different industries from jewelry to architecture to structural engineering. Uh, Grasshopper is a visual programming language and environment that runs on top of the Rhino. Algorithms are created by dragging components onto canvas. The outputs of these components are then connected to the inputs of subsequent components and so on. Advanced uses of Grasshopper includes parametric modeling for uh, architecture and fabrication, lighting performance analysis, building energy consumption analysis, and many more. Uh, by adding third-party plugins, Grasshopper can be customized for specific needs. Uh, I must add that Grasshopper has very le steep learning curve if compared to using traditional uh, programming languages. So, uh, one small example to give you a look how it, how, how it, how it works. Uh, here I have the algorithm that uh, generates simple uh, steel arc bridge. On the left hand side, I have the input parameters and on the right hand side, I have the algorithm that generates the geometry of the bridge. So by um, simply changing some of those parameters, I can create the two nodes that controls the length of the bridge and dragging numerical slider, I can change the Y coordinate of those, those points. Then algorithm cal calculates and creates the center lines of each of the bridge elements. And if I now change the input parameters like the height of the arc or the number of the cross beams and the suspenders and the uh, width of the bridge, then the geometry changes immediately and according to my applied changes. When the center lines are now created, we can apply cross sections to them. There is a uh, multiple ways how can we do this either by lofting through cross sections or doing extrusions. And now we apply the cross sections to all the members. So, so the basic geometry is done. And of course, if I now I'm going to change any of the parameters, then uh, changes are immediately applied to our model. Tecla Grasshopper Live Link. Uh, this link enables algorithmic modeling for Tecla structures using Rhino Grasshopper. The link is a set of Grasshopper components that can interact with objects in Tecla structures in a live mode. Using this link, it is possible to create and modify objects in Tecla. Also, it can be used for adding shapes and profiles to Tecla catalogs. You can download this uh, Grasshopper Tecla Live Link at the Tecla warehouse. So one example how it works. So here I have the same uh, Rhino bridge model and I uh, open the empty Tecla model at the same time. So now we can use the beam component from the Tecla grasp menu and transfer the beams immediately to Tecla. Then I can uh, get access to the Tecla profile catalog and choose the profile for, from this catalog and assign to corresponding members. Also, we can control the position of the members if necessary, we can uh, add uh, offsets and so on. So now I'm going to transfer all the members to Tecla. So one more way how to use this live link, we can apply connections between Tecla elements using Grasshopper. So I will choose the component from the Tecla menu and input uh, main parts there and secondary parts. And then what's left to do is to choose the component from the Tecla catalog. So in this case, it will be connection between the main beams and the suspenders. I use this tension component. So and you can see that at each node, it creates the component. So let me now copy this and use for another connection, in this case, between the cross beams and the main beams. So I just create, change the secondary members, change the components, and we get the correct connection there. Very powerful thing is that we can control the uh, component parameters from Grasshopper. In this case, I want to control the number of bolt rows in this connection. I just add the 
a numerical slider and I need to know the correct name for this parameter there. So I connect those two values, input in component, and just by simply dragging the slider, we can change the number of poles. One more simple example, how the grass copper can be utilized. This algorithm will uh, read the mass center or center of gravity of the element and will add at it equal distances to lifting lug components. So, and then by dragging numerical slider, we can change the distance to the center of gravity. So this is a really uh, simple example to show that uh, Grasper Live Link can be used not only to create, create some really complex uh, geometries, but also for simple day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, Grasshopper is a great tool for extracting information from 2D drawings. It can be used to develop 3D models based on 2D drawings, estimate quantities, or just simply automate the editing of 2D drawings. Rhino supports DVG, DXF, DGN, PDF, and other file formats for both import and export. Here I have one example where I will generate the 3D ground model, solid object, from based on 2D DVG topography uh, file. So first, I'm going to, uh, using layers, we'll select all those points, and uh, then the grasshopper will read the, uh, will find the closest text object to each of those nodes, and will read the Z coordinate value from the text object. And then uh, when it's done, it will uh, combine all that information and will create in the 3D space points in correct Z, with correct Z value. And uh, through those points, we can draw the surface. And this surface, we can then extrude in the 3D solid object. As I now have open Tecla at the same time, we can transfer this 3D object directly to Tecla for, for the drawings or as a reference. So, and of course, if I would have at this point, uh, not only the uh, surface geometry, but also some geotechnical survey data, I could use this to generate all the layers of the soil there. And one more example, this one is more building related. Here I have the uh, architectural 2D floor plan, and I would like to quickly use this to generate the 3D uh, structural model in Tecla. So I will start uh, with uh, converting grid lines from those uh, DVG objects to grid lines in Tecla. We just select the lines there, and using the uh, grid line component from the Tecla menu in Grasshopper, we in one go uh, create the grid line objects in there. Next, I will select the uh, wall line in 2D drawing, and it reads the start and end point and creates the uh, wall layout panel in uh, Tecla. So here I've, I've created the text object near the, this line where I can control the thicknesses of in, in individual layers of this sandwich panel. Also, I can control here the height of the wall and the bottom level. In the similar way, we can create also the windows openings there. I have created the lines there for windows openings and I have set the text attribute there. It reads the uh, bottom level from this text attribute and the height of the window. It always finds the nearest text object within the specific layer. So if I would have all the windows with the same height and bottom level in this building, I could set up just one text object there and control all those through this one text object. When it's done, I can uh, select all the facades there in this case, I will create a one wall layout in uh, Tecla for, for one facade, but, uh, and then I can 
split those in elements later in Tecla, or I could do the splitting also in uh, 2D, then there is just more lines to select there. And now we have all our, our walls here, and I also have set some uh, parameters for components, so each of those uh, wall layout elements gets connected at the corners. Grasshopper can be used to build also the calculation models. Uh, many structural calculation softwares can introduce their links to Grasshopper. Some of those provides only geometry manipulations, other pro uh, others provide full spectra from geometry to adding loads and combinations and reading back results. Uh, such uh, uh, such softwares has uh, links as Tecl Structural Designer, Global RFM, FEM Design, and many others. Uh, in this uh, example, I will demonstrate how we can transfer information from the Rhino and Grasshopper to global RFM calculation software. Here I have the same uh, bridge model and it basically requires just the two Grasshopper components to transfer all this data uh, about the lines and the cross sections to global RFM. Here we have our, mo our model there. Then I will uh, select the corner nodes of the, this bridge and we'll add the supports there. For the supports, we can control all the necessary degrees of freedom. Here, let me enable the component. And now we have the supports there in our frame. Also, it can be used to add other things like for example, hinges on the member ends. Grasshopper can be used not only to generate models for other calculation softwares, uh, you can do the calculations also within the Grasshopper itself. Caramba 3D is a parametric structural engineering tool which provides accurate analysis of trusses, frames and shells. It is available as an add-on for Grasshopper. As an output, you can get forces in members and surfaces. Stresses, results for buckling check and the code check for EC3 for steel members and other results. So let me demonstrate it. Uh, here I have the bridge geometry. I can uh, apply the cross sections to them. Uh, Caramba provides the steel cross section databases with all the typical cross sections. So we select the cross sections, we can apply the loads. There is multiple type of loads like gravity load, initial stress temperature loads, point loads, line loads, and so on. And let me add one more load. In this case, I will add the surface load. And for this, I need to define the direction in which load uh, acts. That would be the Z direction. Specify the magnitude of the load. That would be the 15 kilonewtons per square, square meter. And this one, this component, of course, needs a surface to apply to. For this, I will utilize the cross beams and I will loft the surface through those cross beams. This surface I will link with the load component, and this load component I can apply for the model. So as you can see, the load is now added, but it acts in the on the wrong elements. The caramba provides us possibility to use filters. So I will tell to this filter to apply a load just to the cross beams, not the other elements. So as you can see, now load is correctly distributed between the elements. And if I would now change the number of the cross beams, load gets automatically recalculated. So it's a really convenient way to, way to add the loads. So in a similar way, I can also add the hinges on the member ends. So I use the join component, set the necessary degrees of freedom, link this with our model. For now, it's a hinge on every member's end. If I want, I can use the filters again. So I will add the hinges just on the cross beams and the suspenders and the bracings on the bridge. So these filters, then I link with the joint component. And uh, then this jo joint component can be linked with our model. When the model is calculated, we can view the results. As for example, we can view the deformed shape 
of our structure, change the magnitude of the deformation, the scale. Also, we can use uh, to view different kind of results, for example, uh, Excel stresses there, uh, displacement, the colors. We can view uh, internal forces, like for example, uh, bending moments in Y and Z, and torsional bending moment, uh, shear forces in both direction, and so on. These, all these values can be uh, viewed also in a like, text format. Uh, I can set also the color legend. In this case, it will be for the stresses. And one more thing that uh, Caramba uh, provides us is the um, <coughs> checks for the steel elements according to Eurocode tree. So I will use the utilization factor component linked with the, our model. And here, here I can view all the utilization factor for each of the bridge elements. If I would like to uh, view this only for the certain elements, not for the all, I can again use the filters. In this case, I will want to view results only for the ARC members. Also with the Caramba 3D, you can do the buckling check. In this case, I have set it to check four different critical buckling modes. So with the numerical slider, I can switch between those. And of course, you can uh, view also the corresponding critical load factor for each of the buckling shapes. And the last topic is the documentation using Grasshopper. So Grasshopper can be used for generating reports and drawings. Uh, many file for formats are supported on input and output like TXT, Excel, CSV, DVG, and many others. Let me demonstrate one simple example. I would like to uh, forces from this Caramba model transfer to Excel sheet for some further uh, manipulations and, and, and calculations. So I select the uh, display Low, uh, display forces component. I have set up some Excel uh, template with some formatting and then I use Excel write component link in all the data data that I want to transfer to this Excel file. Also I provide where the file is located, the path to the file, as well the name of the sheet and the uh, names of the columns, where to put those data in. And then I use the switch, turn this component on, and all data now is transferred to the Excel file. If I open now this force Excel file, we will see that all the, all the forces from members are in there. So this is the really great way to create the reports some may even prefer this way to create reports from Tecla than to use, the, let's say, temp, uh, template editor. It could be really useful in some cases. So that would be it from me today. I will give microphone back to Elena. Okay, thank you, Yanis. Uh, I guess now you still have time to ask questions using the questions and answers dialog box from the webinar control menu. Uh, while we are waiting for the questions, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our upcoming online trainings. Uh, can you press the next slide? Thank yes, you. Sure. So the first one uh, we have, we have a set of three trainings uh, lined up for at the end of this month. So the first one is the basics of Rhino Grasshopper. So you can participate in this two hour training just to learn the basics of algorithmic modeling using Rhino Grasshopper. You don't need any previous experience to participate to this first training. The second training is more uh, for intermediate level from the first one, and it improves your skills using the Grasshopper 3D 
and it gives you more of an overall understanding of parametric th thinking. We will use examples uh, related to the uh, structural engineering. And the last training or the third training is about this Grasshopper Tecla Live Link. So if you're working with Tecla structures, so then you, use, you will learn in this training to understand and use the Grasshopper Tecla Live Link for the automation of the Tecla structures modeling tasks. All the trainings will be two hours long and you can register for the trainings from our website events page. Okay, I guess we go to the questions now. Uh, there is uh, two questions at least. So first one, uh, is it possible to transfer forces calculated by Caramba to Tecla? I assume this for Tecla structures. Can you answer this? Yeah, one? sure. It's uh, possible to read uh, uh, those forces into Tecla as uh, user-defined attributes and write um, that uh, uh, Tecla, Tecla uh, end member forces. And in fact, you can read and write to Tecla all the user-defined attributes. So it's possible, yes. Yes, okay. And then there's a second question regarding IFCs. Is there a way to edit the IFCs using the Grasshopper? Yes, uh, for the Grasshopper and Rhino, there is this Visual RQ plugin, which uh, allows you to read uh, in the uh, IFCs and then do some editing on them, those IFCs, even create, uh, add some new elements there, change, change the attribute values for the IFC elements and then write out uh, or export the new IFC or updated IFC file. So it's uh, very much possible, yeah. Okay, thank you. And I think we have some more questions in the... Yeah, uh, regarding the uh, webinar recording, we will share it uh, with you after the webinar. And then, uh, there's a questions uh, regarding about the more examples, how Crasher could be used for buildings modeling. Do you an answer something? No. Uh, no yeah, we could, uh, I don't know, we can later share some videos, I guess, on, on some build, more building related examples. I have something. Yeah. Uh, so. And I guess the trainings are more focused. Yeah, and maybe, yeah, and maybe on the trainings, we can, we can also go through some building related examples yeah. as well. We can also, if your company is something uh, more focused on more specific things, so we can do tailored trainings regarding the Grasshopper Rhino as well. Then I guess there's one more question regarding more for the infrastructure. So do you have experience about using Grasshopper and parametric design in infra design, like roads, streets, utilities, and so on? Yeah, even though myself, my, my, my background is uh, building design, I have participated in the project in the Latvia and Riga, quite, quite big uh, uh, infrastructure uh, project for, uh, there was built a couple of kilometers of uh, viaducts and then this uh, model was developed using the Grasshopper, in the Tecla Grasshopper Live Link. Okay, uh, thank you. Yanis, I think that's all for the questions and we are getting at the end of the webinar. Uh, if you could show the last slide of the, uh, on sure. the presentation. So thank you and thank you all for participating and feel free to contact us through our webpage or the email address below and have a nice day. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye.